Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making spaghetti casserole. Yes, I said spaghetti casserole, not baked spaghetti. Not million dollar spaghetti, but spaghetti casserole. Let me show you my difference. Let's start with my ingredients. I first chop the washed and dried veggies, which are a mix of onions and shallots, parsley and green bell peppers. For my meats, I have turkey pepperoni, ground beef, and Italian sausage. My seasonings are salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, adobo, paprika, red pepper flakes, cavenders, and essence. Then add W sauce and garlic paste. Using a spatula, mash and combine everything together. Grab a large pan or pot and add olive oil and bring to heat. While the oil is heating up, add the pasta to salted boiling water. Now that the oil is hot, add the veggies. Sweat them down. The last three minutes, add in the chopped garlic. We do not want to burn our garlic. Then add the meats. Combine everything together and cook until brown. Drain off the excess oil and fats. Do not rinse. Now add the meat mixture to a clean, large pot. Then add in your pasta sauce and one can of tomato sauce and combine everything evenly. Now add in the chopped parsley and a stem of thyme. Now season the meat sauce with the black pepper, accent, garlic powder, red pepper flakes, and adobo. No additional salt is needed. Then let it simmer for five minutes. I build the flavor gradually. Now I add a cup of white wine and sugar. After everything has been well blended, add in the pasta. Make sure all the pasta is submerged in the meat sauce. And just continue to thoroughly mix everything together. Let it simmer for another five minutes and then remove the stem of the herb. Then grab your casserole dish and coat with nonstick spray. The first layer of the casserole is the spaghetti mixture, followed by shredded sharp cheddar and Kobe Jack cheese. Then add another layer of spaghetti and more shredded cheeses. Mm -hmm. 
then add the final layer of spaghetti, then add cream cheese and sour cream. Mix everything together. I layer just because it's easier, but as you can see, everything should be well blended. Now mold the mixture to the casserole dish and top with the shredded cheeses of your choice. Be sure to preheat your oven and bake on 375 for 30 minutes. Now go ahead and garnish your casserole with parsley. rest for 10 to 15 minutes before enjoying and there you have it spaghetti casserole if you enjoyed this recipe please leave a like if you like to be a part of my kitchen subscribe to the channel you can also catch me on the gram as at ebony period b cooking that's at e-b-o-n-i period b c-o-o-k-i-n-g hope to see you there Now, let's dig in. Would you consider this as a casserole or just another baked spaghetti? I think adding cream cheese and sour cream identified this as more of a casserole. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. This was very cheesy. You could always count on me for something cheesy and gooey. It was really good. Perfect for a weekday. It lasts for at least four days. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.